Okay, um, I just demoed how to uh, link email to matters in uh, using Outlook. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you how you link events um, in Outlook to uh, matters and also how you um, add contacts, how the contacts are synchronized to Houdini SQ. Okay, um, open up uh, Outlook 2007, go to calendars. Um, we get this information because uh, we didn't do an initial synchronization on the events. So um, it's just telling you you can select multiple events and a link to matter. Um, for now, I don't want it will keep reminding you until you check this box and I say okay. To you how when you add a, a new event appointment in your Outlook, how it's gonna be automatically added to Houdini SQ. Okay. So let me add an event on the 17th. Before I do that, make sure there are no events um, on 17th for for this step. Okay. I'm at step four. Okay. Uh, there are no events here. So I'm going to add an event on 17th. Um, here, this is the Houdini ESQ ribbon for Outlook. You can select matter uh, for that event. Let's see. Uh, think the origin and the type of the matter. Let's say it's uh, um, in your interview. And if it's uh, billable, you click billable here. Then you type your uh, subject. Interview with client. I'm testing. This is the testing. Um, put a date time. Let's see, from 9:30 to 10:30 tomorrow. Okay. If when I click save and close, uh, this appointment will create in your Outlook as well as in Houdini SQ or Calendar. Click save and close. Okay. We have matter here. If I open up again. You will see it's linked with um, old James and the top interview, and it's linked. Okay, now let's verify the adding one. Oh, look. Okay, um, it's web based, so let's do the refresh. You will see that there's an um, event at 9 30. Double op click, open that. You see it's linked to old Jim. It's an interview with client. It's testing for 9 30. It's one hour and it's $250. Okay, it's, it's um, or create it's on your um, Houdini SQ calendar as well as it's also built for you. Okay, that's how easy it is to uh, create an event in Outlook and uh, link and uh, um, synchronize that with um, cal uh, calendar in Houdini. Okay. Um, next, I will show you how we uh, the contacts are synchronized. Okay. Um, in um, um, in Outlook, there's a, a new uh, property called a sync. This is a Houdini SQ property. When all the sync uh, checkboxes are checked, that means all your contacts are synchronized. If for any co contacts, if you want them to be synchronized again, you can just uncheck and um, you will check, you will uh, synchronize for you next time. Okay. So now let me just demonstrate for you how to uh, how you add a new contact in Outlook and the new contact will appear in a Houdini SQ okay, as well. Okay. You click a new. You enter name. That's uh, Randy Smith. Okay. Let's make sure Randy Smith doesn't actually exist here. Okay. We don't have a Randy Smith. We have other Smith. Randy Smith. Um, company name. Now, when I click save and close, this contact will be created in Outlook, and it, it will also be created in Houdini S2 at the same time. Okay. So let's do a save and close. Randy Smith created right here. Um, let's go to um. Put in ESQ. Uh, we don't have it yet. Randy Smith, right here. Um, if you open up, you will see companies ABCDFG, Randy Smith, uh, phone number, home number, 00111, testing from Outlook. Oh, it's exact the same thing. Same identical contact created in Houdini SQ and it's in um, Outlook. Okay, so it's very easy when you are use um, Outlook uh, to manage your contact events. You don't have to do anything on your side. Everything is done for you uh, to Houdini SQ. Okay, um, thank you for joining me.